to the airport right now on my way to Toronto. I'm so excited. Um, haven't seen my family in, well, actually it hasn't been that long. We were there for New Year's, so like three, almost four months. But I'm so excited to be spending the rest of Ramadan with the fam and the cousins and everything. So let's go on a little travel adventure. <sighs> I'm not gonna get there till like 11.30 p.m. right now, or um, today, so I am breaking my fast on the plane, but I got some food ready, thankfully. Just got to Toronto. It's pretty late right now. It's like past midnight. We were supposed to arrive around like 11.30, but the flight was kind of delayed, but I think I'm just gonna catch an Uber, so I don't really feel like bothering my family <laughs> to come pick me up. It's like pouring rain out. Um, and like my brother who would normally pick me up has work in the morning, so I'm just gonna do everyone a solid and just pick up an Uber. But man, is it like raining here, and supposedly it's supposed to snow tomorrow. That is not the Toronto welcome I expected. <laughs> but I looked at the rest of the week and it's actually quite warm. Like, I think on Eid it's supposed to be like 16 degrees and sunny. So, I'll take one day of snow for that. <laughs> That's so cool. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. You just gonna walk away, Amir? Hmm? You're just gonna walk away? No, I'm just <laughs> I am back at home. Actually, is this a continuation of yesterday's vlog? I don't really know. But anyways. Are we supposed to be doing them daily? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. That's what I thought. That's what I I have been vlogging daily, but I haven't been uploading daily. Ah. <laughs> but anyways, we're back in the home kitchen. I'm about to make some sweet potato fries. Um, where's the pizza? Oh. I need to find more too. Oh, you do? Where's the other one? It's downstairs, I think. Mm. Why do you need to put it in the wood? What are you mm. making? You don't eat mama's food? No, not really. Yeah. I make my own food. So I'm making some sweet potato fries, but the goal is to make them extra crispy. So I'm going to use some cornstarch and see if that works. Um, and a bunch of other spices, but y'all, today was literally just a write-off. Like I have, I wanted to go on a walk. I wanted to do so many things, but I woke up at like 11 o'clock or 11.30 and <laughs> this is ground cinnamon, but it's definitely garlic. Um, and then I had a meeting like literally right as soon as I woke up. And then I was just like literally on the computer the entire night or the entire day, just trying to finish my work and Suddenly I was like, okay, you know what? There's an hour before iftar, like 45 minutes before iftar. So yeah, just use this one. I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna get started right now. How is this? Hmm? Is it like, does it focus only on you? Or you, you control, oh, you have the angle thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's chop these up. My mom also is throwing it down in the kitchen. She made like my favorite Okay, so dessert. I'm so excited. Do sweat to look. And she even made it look all cute. <laughs> she knows the camera is back, so she's trying to make everything look aesthetically pleasing. It's so cute. Hopefully, I'm hoping Eid is on Wednesday so that I have at least like two nights at home because over the weekend, Fridays and Saturdays, we go and have iftar at the mosque. So... We won't get like that family time that we usually do. And then Sunday, we're actually going to Sada's house. She invited us all over. Um, and Yasin is coming in tomorrow as well, so. All right, I cut all the sweet potatoes. So I cut them about like this thin. I'm gonna pop it all in here. And I'm gonna season it with Cajun. Does this have salt in it already? Yeah. 
I'm also gonna do some smoked paprika. And I'm not gonna do garlic actually. I'm just gonna do some corn flour. Shake it. Each fry is coated like this. Okay, while the oven preheats, let me show you what Mama has been doing so far. <laughs> she set up the table. So you want me to wait? Okay, never mind. Y'all can't see that yet. My mom wants my mom wants the final. She wants you to experience it all together, so we'll wait on that. I need to upload the Ramadan Nights Iftar vlog. I had a few edits on it um, for my editor, so let me see if she sent it back yet. Ooh, not yet, okay. We're working with right now, it looks so good. The Ramadan Nights Iftar. Download this and then wait until I get that footage back and then we can do everything. In other news though, I did get the Forever Mood new fragrances. I ordered them on Sephora Canada so that I could ship them here and they literally came in like a day. They came before I did, which is kind of crazy. But I got the scent You Remind Me and then I also got NDA. Um, you Remind Me is definitely my favorite of the two. I didn't get the other two. I kind of want to wait to smell those in store or something. Just because I have so many perfumes, guys. Like, way too many. Like, I don't even need these. But I do need these because they're Jackie. And I always support my girls. So, this smells so delicious. Like, I don't know if I have anything like it. This smells like what I wish Missing Person by Fleur smelled like. And I feel like... Not that they were trying to do around the same thing. But this is called You Remind Me. It's supposed to remind you of a person or something. Um, and like Missing Person, it's kind of a similar vibe, but this smells way better. Missing Person just smells like a grandma to me. <laughs> like it death just smells like a grandma. Even when I got my husband to smell it, he's like, oh my god, this smells like my grandma. And he said it in an endearing way, but like, I don't want to smell like that. So, yeah. This just smells like, it does remind me of someone. I don't know who that person is, but I like her and I want to be her. So... It's really nice. And then NDA, this is going to take a little getting used to for me. It's definitely a lot more like mysterious and smoky. It has tobacco flower in it. So it's a little bit more on like, I don't know. It's just like a different type of scent. Like I, I don't own anything like this as well. I think this mixed with a vanilla will be really good. Um, but I will say this one is definitely my favorite of the two. This one is like not like really my favorite, but... I'm still gonna wear it like it still smells good and I know it'll smell good when I mix it with other things But on its own, it's just a little bit too different for me. So Yeah, it smells really good though. I'm really proud of her. So yeah, let's go check if the oven is preheated now because The sweet potato fries is gonna take a little bit long and if Zara is like in 20 minutes Okay, I guess just for science, I'm going to put these ones in the air fryer and we'll see which ones turn out better. My mom has summoned me. She said everything's ready. Okay. Now, you know how famous your soup is? You know how famous your soup is? Over two million people. I know, because it's nice. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, guys, we have my mom's famous soup that so I have some went viral. <laughs> I'll give you some money. <laughs> oh, thank you, mommy. We have mama's famous soup. Hers is a little bit thinner because my brother doesn't like texture. We have, what is this? Just sadata? Okay. Some salad. Sambusa? I haven't had my mom's sambusa all month. I've only had like two sambusas all month. Oh, chicken. Okay. This is... What is this? Sokarbara? Or like... 
Sukkar bara. Sukkar bara. Look, dipped in like sugar. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks so good. She like did the designs with mot, which is like the Ethiopian baskets. This is some. Um, which one? Oh, let me show them. This is how she made the little designs. She just kind of rolled them in here. And then they created that design. Isn't that so cool? I thought she used like a piping bag or something. And then we have some fruit salad. <gasps> I'm so excited to eat. What's on the, what's on the main course? What's the main course? Chicken? The lemon chicken? Lemon chicken and... Mama forgot to put out the bajia. So we got our version of falafel over here too. Now the spread is complete. Say hello. Hello. Hey. That's my new camera. Is this a camera? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, see. What kind of camera is this? Mm -hmm. It's like supposed to be easy to go. Mm -hmm. It's like wide angle too. Mm -hmm. well, are we eating soup first? Do you guys eat soup first before you pray now? No, we're waiting for you guys. Ew, I'm taking too long. Mm -hmm. No, I had to switch the fries from the oven to mm. the air fryer. You mean from the air fryer to the oven? No. It was taking too long on the oven. It was like steaming. I wanted mm. it to be crispy. Mm -hmm. You know, this soup got over 2.5 million views on Instagram. Really? Yeah, I recreated the recipe. I followed it exactly. 2.5 million people watched it. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people remade it too. On Instagram or TikTok? Photos. On Instagram. And they like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste this first. Though. Mm. It's been way too much. That's you good. take the picture off? Mm -hmm. Ready? It's this is for like eight people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wanted it to look abundant on mm. camera. La ilaha illallah, la la sharika la. La al mulk la al hamd yihi wa yibit wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika la. له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم ربنا تقبل صلاتنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا وصيامنا تما اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد هديتنا وحلنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوحاد يا ودود يا ودود يا عبد العرش المجيد يا فعل لما يريد يا ساتر لا تشفي في السماء وتشفي الجميل يا الله يا ساتر لا تشفي في السماء وتشفي الجميل يا ساتر لا تشفي في السماء وتشفي الجميل اللهم احدنا سول السلام وكلنا على دين الإسلام اللهم إنك عفو تحب لا فاف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب لا فاف عفو عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب لا فاف عفو عنا يا كريم آمي وإلهكم إله واحد لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحج القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من أمره إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض ولا يؤده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم. First سمبوسة وماما سمبوسة of رمضان. Mmm. Good. First time you made chicken, right? Yeah. Mm. Why? Any particular reason? No, we bought the chicken breast. Had a fitash. I mean, it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Where's my plate? Oh. It's a little like dusty from the mm. from the corn starch. I don't know how to prevent that. 
-hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's good. See, it's crunchy. Yeah, the small ones are crunchy. Mm -hmm. It just needs time to cool down. Uh. And out there, black muslin on, African owned, like it's just, we are one, you know? Um, so they wanted to sponsor this event, and I'm so, so excited because we're kind of building it out a little bit more. I had some more budget to play with, and the venue is. You want to show me? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Things have like Sahur menus and Sahur time hours, I mean, so we can actually eat some more nice restaurants. Oh, it's empty. Oh, we're the first ones in here. <laughs> I've never been to that restaurant. I've never been to a restaurant that has played Quran before. It's nice. <laughs> it is. My favorite food. Uh-huh. Welcome back to the vlog, Sam. Yes. I know. Oh, did you go to sleep? No, it's okay. It'll last for what we need it. Go to sleep? Hopefully. No. I feel really bad. Like, no, speaking over the Quran. I know, I know. Let's be quiet. <laughs> How many of us are there? How much is there? We can, we can, no, if we can charter our flight, you know, everybody saves a little money. A flight? Uh -oh. Wow. This looks so good. 
I want a curly, curly fly. I want to get one of these for the gym. It's so cute and little. Mm, I know. Mm. Those are great. Mm -hmm. We, oh, okay. Yeah, pretty good. It's very good. It's Look at all the food that we ate, guys. Kind of, sort of. We kind of, we kind of killed that. <laughs> we really killed that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to take some leftovers home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the only thing left over, I know. This is so good though. Maybe I will take that if you guys don't finish it. Take it. This one little bite. Cauliflower is his favorite. Oh shit. You don't have to order for Yassine. Nah, he said he didn't want it. You sure? The vibes in here are so cute. Hopefully people don't mind that I'm recording, but like, it's so nice. I got the tops of their heads you know. Ramadan vibes. When I was telling when I was telling Yassi that we were going out to eat at 1 a.m., he was like, "Are you guys crazy?" <laughs> it's part of the vibe. It's like it's part of the culture. I'm like in Toronto, you know, people things are open late. Are they early. not open in LA? Like for some maybe food? Orange County, but not LA. And even then, like, no, it's not really like that. Yeah, it's probably not as much variety either. Yeah. Oh. Today we are having iftar at Sada's house. And the girls are in the kitchen cooking. Mama, our head chef. Are you the head chef today or the sous chef? Or the supporting chef? Support. Supporting chef, okay. We have Sara, the sous chef. Hello. Or maybe the head chef, I don't know. No, I'm the sous chef. You're the sous chef. Yeah. And then no, I didn't try. <laughs> Plus the Jawahers upstairs getting ready. I'm the, um, the assistant to the sous chef. Just made salad dressing. That's all I have provided for this or contributed to for this uh, iftar. <laughs> and the boys, of course, have done nothing and they just get to eat. Do you want a beach? Just put this put butter on top. We got Ethiopian falafel, aka bajia. We go here. My mom's little gay soup donuts. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that. He's Nugda. So, this is his first time here. The first time. Yeah, yeah. Today he's Nugda. Exactly. Okay. Next time he won't be. I'm going to do half and half so half the table gets each. Yes, you do. No fighting. Bring that back. You're recording? Yeah. You say hi. Are you in frame? I don't even know. Hmm? You have stuff right here too. I can't, I'm trying to see if you're in frame. I can't tell. Yeah, I am. There we go. Welcome in the boys who had nothing to do with this entire day. Not true. <laughs> Showing up a minute before Iftar. <laughs> Mm. My dad brought his. Banana? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Oh, you have the like professional one. Honestly, I don't know. Sam. My mom back. was in her baking era one time. This is sprinkles. Hey, she got the professional. So the whole family? Are you doing an off the shoulder moment? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Don't be running away. We got the men waiting to eat. Uh, I gotta expose y'all. <laughs> yeah, we're like so I'm here. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I'm just showing the difference. We're all chaotic, and they're just like, oh. Are you excited for some busa? Where the water? Where am I sitting? Here. Here. Thank you. Hmm? got this. Remember when? No, no, no. You used to never like dates. Ever. 
Okay. I still don't like dates. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Okay, so you're still talking. I just, I just eat them because I'm forced to eat them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. If you get the Medjool ones. What about blueberries? Right? Yeah. Oh, they taste like nothing mm-hmm. to me. <laughs> He's a picky eater. Yeah. <laughs> we got the main event, y'all. Yeah. And you want some? We feasting. He got his oxtail. He has his boy. Remember when we used to do these like once a week? Yeah. At the family. Yeah, we used to actually like go to people's house, houses for Pixar. Every weekend, and it would be like all of us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, Sydney. Uh, I gotta lay down. No. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still good? You gotta finish all the Tipsy on your plate. No, 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 no. You gotta finish it. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, hell no. On Whoever finishes first. You gotta finish it. Yeah. All right. Oh. Come on, it's just two bites. Mm. <laughs> I'm here. Why is your head on the <laughs> chicken? There's supposed to be a solar eclipse happening right now, but it's like completely cloudy, so you can't really even see anything. But it does look a lot darker. Not super dark, but it's like moody. The sun is up there, though. I can't look because I don't have the glasses, but. I don't know. I've never experienced a solar eclipse before, a complete eclipse. So just waiting to see if anything happens. See, I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me because it's definitely darker. But like, <laughs> it's not completely dark yet. Guys, it's dark. It's dark. This is so cool. It's completely, well, it's not completely dark, but it looks like it's like Maghrib time right now. So cool. All the like, look, babe, the street lights turned on. No, it does. I'm about to drink some water. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're Sid. You That's so it's cool. Right it's not sunset, it's a solar eclipse. Wow. That's so cool. It's literally dark. I, was darker by the second. I know. Wow. That's so crazy. And now it's getting brighter. That's so cool. Was that worth it? Is that worth coming outside? Yeah. See? See? <laughs> I just came back from Adonis, which is kind of like a Middle Eastern um, grocery store. My favorite place to shop. Um, and I actually met a subscriber, so if that was you, I do forget your name, but I do not forget your beautiful face, okay? But anyways, um, I just got back from the grocery store and I kind of want to make tiramisu because, ew, what the heck is all this? There is like gunk all up in it. Okay, no, I'm not using that. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, we're back in business. Anyways, <laughs> I wanted to make tiramisu because it's the last day of Ramadan, or the last, oh my god, you guys know, I, why am I repeating myself a million times? <sighs> we have two more hours until we break our fast, so please bear with me. But I'm doing that, I'm also making my famous Vimto drink because my parents have not tasted it and they have to, it's so, so good. But I'm going to make the mixture first, so, oh, I don't shoot that's what i forgot i forgot to get vanilla i feel like my mom probably has some we don't have like vanilla extract but i have this vanilla powder and i think that'll do i'm gonna use the whole tub of mascarpone cheese like a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. I'm 
I'm going to add the vanilla powder. And then I'm going to add, I don't want it too sweet, but I'm going to add like maybe like two, three tablespoons of sugar. Okay, maybe four. And I'm just going to whip that up until there's like stiff peaks or maybe soft peaks. No, I'm going to do stiff peaks. Okay, so I realized now I was supposed to beat the whipping cream first by itself and then mix in the mascarpone cheese, but I did it all together and um, it took a little bit longer, but I did end up getting the stiff peaks that I needed, so we're okay. <laughs> I have some instant espresso powder mixed with water over here. The lady fingers. I always like when there's a bit of texture in my, um, in anything I eat actually. <laughs> so I got this dark chocolate, just the baker's dark chocolate, and I'm gonna like shave this in there so that there's like little chunks of, or little shaved pieces of chocolate. I feel like that would be really yummy. And I am using like a circular dish, so I'm probably gonna have to like cut some pieces at some point, but for now, I think it'll work well. Okay, that's the first layer done. chunks in between for some texture. Okay, and tiramisu is complete. It looks so good. I'm gonna make a little mini version just to finish off the rest of the ingredients. And we have the second tiramisu. This one is so cute. It's like a little personal version. We got a feast today. This is very hot. Ah. They just came out the oil, so be careful. For real. No, this is hot. Seriously? No. <laughs> His taste buds are dead. Ah. What happened? Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, these are so good. Butter butter day mixed with lemon or lime. So good. Mm. 
time to taste the tiramisu. Let's see if it is good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yum. I feel like I probably could have let the cookies soak a little bit more. But I don't want it to be like wet, you know? We have officially made it till the end of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. This is the final vlog of the Ramadan daily. Thank you guys so much for joining me this month. I know I wasn't like completely consistent, but I think we uploaded like at least 15 videos, which is a lot. Um, it is the night before Eid, so Eid Mubarak to all of you. I hope you guys have an amazing Eid tomorrow. Um, I feel like by the time you guys are, <clears throat> by, by the time you guys are watching this, some people might be watching it Wednesday night or uh, Tuesday night, but majority of you are probably watching it after Eid. So inshallah, you had an amazing time with your family. We're about to break our fast in like 20 minutes for the last time <laughs> until next year, may Allah bless us and make us among the ones who get to see and witness and participate in Ramadan next year, inshallah. Ameen. Um, this has been a wonderful, wonderful month. Um, went to so many different iftars, hosted my own, and it turned out so amazing. Um, got to spend it with my family. It was Yasin and I's second Ramadan together, so overall it was just an incredibly blessed month. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as well. Um, I wanted to show you guys like all of the like cultural elements of the 27th night and I kind of like just use text to describe it all so hopefully you can understand it a little bit more but I'm also going to post a TikTok down below that like explains it really well and shows the process of making the city and everything that I like randomly found um, this week <clears throat> so I will post that TikTok below if you want to like see even more of the culture. Um, but yeah, I, I actually, I want to see how much we ended up raising for all of the different um, fundraisers because alhamdulillah, you guys were able to raise so much. Of course, I contributed on my own as well to all three charities, um, but it just, it makes me really happy that, you know, we were able to make a difference this Ramadan for the people of Gaza and then also for, you know, the hospital in Mali. So let me just open up the link real quickly. So for the hospital in Mali, and I will continue to have these links in my description box in case you guys ever want to continue donating, but we raised over 10,000 US dollars, which is incredible, mashallah. If you guys would, of course, still like to donate, that will be down below. Um, and our initial goal was 5,000, so I'm very happy. Also, the For Mama campaign um, boosted some of the money, so they boosted an additional $3,000, um, which is incredible. So I'm just so happy that we were able to just make even a small difference. Um, let's see, for Human Concern International, which they were handing out food and medical aid during the, this month of Ramadan, we were able to raise almost $30,000, just shy, $27,793 um, US dollars. There were over 500 of you that supported, so may Allah immensely reward you. And, you know, during Ramadan, your deeds are multiplied by, I believe, 70 or 700? Ooh, I'm not 100% sure. I need to read up on that. But may Allah continue to bless you. And I'm just, I can't believe our community has raised over... $37,000 for Muslims in need. That's just so incredible. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy that I was able to be a part of these campaigns. So um, we were also able to raise just shy of $3,000 for the general For Mama campaign. So um, altogether we raised $40,000, which is just so amazing. So thank you guys again for contributing. And 
you know, may Allah bless all of these people that we're raising money for and inshallah gets into the right hands of people as well. So with that being said, I'm closing out our sixth annual, I believe it's a sixth annual Ramadan daily series here on YouTube. I will be vlogging Eid, so you guys will get a little bonus video later on this week, inshallah. Um, I am going to enjoy the night with my family. I love you guys so much and have an amazing Eid. And thank you so much for supporting and joining. And to all the new people here, thank you so much for joining the family. Love you guys. Eid Mubarak. Bye.